Like the video and subscribe right now, or she will be in your bed tonight. Ask Reddit. What is the worst double standard? I was at a party, M, and a girl, which I didn't like, came towards me at the dancer floor and grabbed my crotch, whispering in my ear that she wanted me to go home with her. I said no, and she didn't stop, she even got mad, I mean really mad, and tried to get in my pants. My friends were laughing, because she was small and just drunk, but imagine me doing the same thing to her. I would have got beaten up immediately. I'm the father of a 9 year old girl. Her basketball team didn't have a coach, so I volunteered. The amount of sideways glances I got was insane. God forbid, a guy teaching some girls about basketball. I'm a large man and nobody said shit, but still. It's like I'm not allowed to take charge of my daughter's activity group because I was born with a penis. I don't know if this is a typical oldest sibling issue, but whenever I got some new privilege or had some sort of rule become less restrictive growing up, my younger sister would get the same thing. You guys are older now, so your bedtime is now 10 instead of 9. Duck you, she's got to wait 2 more years before she gets to stay up late. When I was 11, 6th grade, all my friends started getting phones. I really wanted one so kept begging my parents for one. They said I can have one when I was 13. Two years later, at my middle school graduation, I got my first phone. A shitty pink flip phone my mom claimed was red, but it was obviously hot pink. My brother, who is two years younger, got a ducking sidekick a week later, which, at the time, was the greatest phone ever. My 13 year old brain couldn't comprehend this, and I ended up throwing the sidekick against a wall. It didn't break, which made me even angrier. A girl sleeps with a lot of guys, she's only a slut. If I sleep with a lot of guys, suddenly I'm gay. These double standards are stupid. My family dynamic means I'm the main caregiver for my daughter, I'm a father, as in, I cook meals, pick her up, and drop her off at daycare, and do most of the house chores and bath slash put her to bed. This is due to my wife's work hours. I don't complain. But when I have to take an abnormal amount of sick days, when my daughter is sick, I get my supervisor, a mother of three who works four days a week and takes days off for her kids, giving me shit saying to watch my sick leave. Yet, another woman at work, who had three years off having kids, built up sick leave, while she was on maternity leave, at a full time rate, then comes back three days a week, and has literally had a day off every week since returning, no one bats an eye, I'm so angry right now, edit, I also work full time. Zero tolerance policies at school, it's important to protect the victim, unless the victim tries to defend himself slash herself. In that case, the victim is just as bad as the attacker. Oh god I remember this bullshit. And it's worse if you actually fight. I got a day suspension because I swung a punch while the two asses split their suspension because they never swung. Excluding the fact that one of them kneeled my head and stomach. I'm late to the party, but here goes. Lots of cultures want their kids to marry their own kind. I have a couple of female Indian friends whose parents would disown them if they married a non-Indian. If white people said that, they'd be ducking racist and there would be a special on NPR about it. It's stupid. Everyone always says that's just their culture. Okay then their culture is racist. I'm not saying white people are oppressed or anything it's just stupid that when a white person hates another race it's hate, but when someone else does it it's cultural. Duck that. I don't tolerate your intolerance. As someone under the age of 25 I'm expected to know how to fix any and all computer issues and use all computer programs, but my boss who has been in the business for 40 years can't be bothered to learn how to type into a word processor and can't handle Excel. If I tried that shit I'd get fired immediately, but because she's old it's perfectly okay. The other day my mom wanted me to come over and make this Bluetooth watch work with her phone. I try to walk her through it over the phone, but she said it's not working. So I go over there, and sure enough it connected immediately, and a thing popped up telling me to download the app. It's like sometimes all you have to do is read. Seriously, 50% of IT is knowing how to navigate menus and read. The other 50% is shutting stuff down and restarting it. And the other 50% is strategic googling. 
we are allowed to make fun of skinny people for being skinny, but not fat people for being fat. I'm a thin guy. Not overtly skinny, but definitely on the thinner side. In college one of my friends always hung out with this girl who was fat. Like, classically fat. She had that weird bulge that fat people get in the bladder areas that make it look like they have a water balloon in their jeans. Anyways, she always gave me constant shit for being thin. OMG you must be starving. Are you anorexic? Hahaha <laughs> oh wow it's so windy outside, make sure you don't get blown away. And everyone always laughed. I'm a laid back guy. I know how to laugh at myself. And in these situations, I'd do it. But duck man. There were so many times where I wanted to say things back at her for being fat. But no, I can't do that, because it'd ostracize me socially, and I'd come across as a cunt. And yet everyone is allowed to laugh at me for being skinny. It drives me crazy. A guy can't strike his wife ever, except sexually if she likes it. Like if he's really mad at her, and he smacks her, it's domestic violence and he can be sent to jail. That's good. Men shouldn't hit their wives. But why is it okay for women to slap men? If guy says something completely innocently that somehow inadvertently insults the woman, he gets slapped in the face, and everyone's immediate reaction is he did something to deserve it. Domestic violence is domestic violence. It shouldn't matter who hit who. If a guy and a girl are both blackout drunk and have sex, he can be accused of rape because she was too drunk for consent, whereas the guy may have been equally as drunk and unable for good decision making, but is still blamed. There was this infuriating case a few months ago, a blackout drunk guy got raped by a slightly tipsy girl. The girl got regrets, accused the guy of raping her, the guy got expelled from university and arrested. The girl didn't even attempt to hide the fact she was mostly sober and he was blackout drunk. People just went down that she was drunk and therefore couldn't consent path anyway. If a woman gives up her life and career to take care of someone, she's a saint and deserving of constant praise and adoration. If a man does it, he's less than a man. I haven't seen many women as being praised and called a saint because it's seen as their duty to take care of people. But you're absolutely right. A man is viewed as less of a man that he's doing womanly duty. Either that or he's being forced into it and hasn't chosen to take care of that person of his own free will. That age is wisdom. My mum and dad didn't graduate high school, but I'm always automatically wrong against them because I'm younger. I try to say something about life to a middle-aged person, but I'm automatically shot down because I'm younger. If you're not a child genius, then you automatically don't know as much as people older than you. Moms know better than dads, even when it's not their kid. I was helping my daughter tie her shoes on the way home from school one day, she thought she had a nosebleed, she didn't, and several other moms and grandmas swarmed us trying to take over. Duck you. I'm first aid qualified, and have the non-situation under control, the rest of you are a bunch of busy bodies, that don't know shit. Holy duck I saw this happen in real life. My friend is FA qualified like you, and his little brother was having a headache. Apparently his nose was running, and he thought it was bleeding, so the friend takes a look and just hands him a napkin, and says it fine. Just use that napkin and it's not a nosebleed. Suddenly like 3 to 4 women just came up to him, and started telling him what and how to do something, that they had no idea about. They ducking told him to tilt his head back, anyone would know not to do that. He thankfully told him to duck right off, and I swear I thought this phrase was never actually said but one goes as a mother. Lol he told her to shut the f up, before she even finished that sentence. When your parents yell for you, and you can't hear them, you need to go to them. But when you yell for your parents and they can't hear you, you also need to go to them. It's only illegal if you're poor. Similarly you're only insane if you're poor, otherwise you're eccentric. Yoga pants and blouses sitting next to suits in the office. What kind of office enforces suits for men, but allows yoga pants for women? Congress. Not kidding. It's summer intern season here in DC, and it's amazing that this is a thing at all. College interns bouncing in to work in spandex pants, etc. Naturally the same can be said about a lot of offices I'm sure, but I get a kick out of seeing it in the capital or Auburn. Enough of them seem to wear the spandex pants to work that it's normal. You have been visited by the rare bread doggo. Comment, toast well, 
papa, and be granted with great fortune of bread. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.